Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2020. So we are here with this problem 41 of it. It's a problem from um, section C and it is of differential calculus. So have a look. Let xn is given by this and yn is given by this. Then the value of limit n goes to infinity yn is. So this is your question. It's very easy question. So what is important over here is this fact that I want to tell you. What is this fact? If we have limit, let us say x going to c, f of gx. If we have composition of function. Why we are do doing this composition of function? Because in your question also we have this composition. All right, then this composition can be written like this. Provided that this function, that this limit x goes to c for gx exists, what are the condition when this will happen? Limit x goes to c gx exists and f is continuous at c are you getting my point so this fact will work when this limit x goes to c exists as well as f is continuous at x is equal to c so are you getting my point or not so this will work now this will uh, this will simply solve our problem so what we have we have this yn is equal to e to the power 1 minus xn that means when whenever you are evaluating this limit limit n goes to infinity y n then what actually you have to do e to the power 1 minus x n you can just write this limit like this you can write this thing like this e to the power limit n goes to infinity 1 minus x n this is what you can do by your formula but we have to also check that f should be continuous. Now what is your f in your case? Your f is e to the power 1 minus x. We know that this is a continuous function. And what is your gx? gx is xn is equal to n to the power 1 by n. This function is your gx function. Are you getting my point? So now let us evaluate its limit. So limit n goes to infinity n to the power 1 by n. Let us evaluate it. So consider this thing equal to g and now apply log on both sides. What will happen is you will get log g is equal to 1 by n log of n. Now see this thing that if you will place infinity then you will get log infinity by infinity that means log infinity you know is infinity so you are getting in infinity by infinity form so what you can do you can apply l hospital rule here so by applying l hospital rule we can differentiate numerator and denominator as well so if you are if you will differentiate numerator you will get 1 by n if you will differentiate denominator you will get 1 so when n is going toward infinity, what you will finally get? Zero. Now see this limit exists. So both the conditions are satisfied. F is continuous. Yes, F is continuous. This limit exists. Yes, this limit exists. That means whatever we have written here is absolutely correct. There is no problem in it. So now what will happen? This limit n goes to infinity y n will be e to the power 1 minus x n. What is the limit of x n? It's 0. So you will get this. So finally what we are getting? We are getting e as our answer. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's not 0 actually because we have evaluated log of g. Log of g is equal to 0 actually means what? It means that g is equal to e to the power 0. Are you getting my point? We are getting log z is equal to 0. So it means that we are getting e to the power 0 as g, which is 1. So what will happen here? You will instead of 0, you will get 1. 
so you will get e to the power 0 and that is 1 so 1 is your answer are you getting my point so let us write so what is your answer your answer is 1 for this one got my point so we are just using this fact that we can interchange the limit between the composition provided this that this limit should exist and f should be a continuous function at x is equal to c now what happened here is this that we evaluated x in limit of xn and we got that limit exists and it is equal to 1 and we know that if f is equal to 1 e to the power 1 minus x is a continuous function that is why we finally got here so see how easy is this question using this limit so all right so if you will do this question in exam it's not going to take more than one minute in this all right so thank you